Everybody in life's end goal is basically the same. Everybody wants to have enough money to do what they want when they want to do it. Everybody wants to have a nice house. Um, and, and people want to be able to travel, right? And people just want to chill. Like, you want to get uh, financially to a point to where you can just relax and don't have to do anything. That's the whole point of... <clears throat> multiple streams of income being such a big commodity because when you have multiple streams of income or passive income, you are spending your time the way that you want to spend it. So why is this big? Because all we want to do is relax. That's the end goal. All we, all you want to do is be able to chill and travel. Basically, that's, that's basically what everybody wants to do. Everybody wants to be able to chill and travel. All right. So you see how society has created all of this shit in between from us now to chilling, right? When we could just chill right now. But society has engineered us to think that we have to do all of these things to get to that place when that place is already here. Do y'all get what I'm saying? They make you feel like <clears throat> you have to have the nicest car or you have to have Gucci, Louis, this, and, and all of these material things, but in actuality, you're doing all of these things to get to one place, and that's a peaceful state. That's a state where you're not forced to being able to work. You want to work when you want to work and when you do things. So I say this to say this, y'all. Understand that you are already in a place where you have a roof over your head and you can travel and, you know, you can relax. You know what I'm saying? People who are working nine to five jobs, regular jobs, <clears throat> may not have it as accessible as to somebody who is not working a nine to five job. But you still have that time for yourself to relax and to chill. We're overworking ourselves. Even if there was a society where it wasn't so materialistic and it wasn't how it was now, you would still be working at some point because you would be, but but you would be doing it out of the better the betterment of society. You know what I'm saying? The betterment is a word, but y'all get what I'm saying. You will be doing it out of the, the, the love that you have for your community. So you wouldn't be making things just for money because if there was no money, you would be doing things that would be beneficial. Because if we removed all of the money out of society and it was about 30 of us, let's just say it's 30 of us in a group, we're gonna all put our skills together based on what we're best at and how we can bring value to each other. <clears throat> and if you aren't bringing value to anybody else, then you're no longer relevant. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, do something that you love to do. Spend your time doing something that you love to do. Don't spend all of your time in life trying to get a hold of money, trying to get a hold of physical things, physical items, because you're doing all of that just so that you can get to a place to relax, which you already are. You know what I'm saying? It's outside of the other influences that make us feel so unrelaxed. But the reason that people feel like they're not making enough money is because they're equating their happiness with material things that they don't have. You know, um, you're alive. You're breathing. You have a roof over your head and you have food. You should be thankful. You should be happy. But yet, in the back of your mind, you feel like you're not doing enough or you're not working hard enough, but everybody's working hard to get to that position <laughs> that you're already in. So I just had to break that down because I think people are overwhelmingly distracted by all of the shit that they don't have versus what they do have. So just focus on that. Nor, nor am I saying, nor, nor am I saying uh, to stop going on your endeavors to be great and to achieve that peaceful state, you know, because we all want to be financially secure. We all want to have, you know, in case of an emergency to have money. I'm not I'm not taking away from those things. I just want you to understand this concept of life that's being projected on us and why you feel like you have to do all of these things. You know, we remove money out of the equation. We, we don't have to worry about somebody uh, paying for an expensive surgery because it would be somebody who just loves taking care of people and that's their that's the value that they bring to the community <clears throat> but don't let that stop you on your endeavors to the top don't let that stop you from being financially stable because some of us have goals you know to to achieve higher 
stages of reality it just so happens to be that we're existing in a time where you have to go through this economic political system to obtain what it is you want to obtain that level of peace that you want but what i what i ultimately want to say is just don't get lost in all of that on the way there one